Hi folks, here we are at the Car Corral at the Canfield Swap Meet. This is Dave and Ed's in Canfield, Ohio. This is a spring meet. So we're gonna walk you through the Car Corral. We already did the swap meet, so please catch that video too. Recently, we've also done the Carlisle uh, auction, swap meet, Car Corral, all that kind of stuff. So check out all our videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, enjoy the video. We'll see, show you what there is here, a bunch of old cars and trucks. Well, we'll show you as many prices and phone numbers as we can. This one's a 55 Chevy right there, marked down to 29.5. It's got a 400 cubic inch. Pretty nice little truck, short box, step side, got a visor on it. Good looking little pickup. Got a little uh, Firebird here, convertible. We're not going to show you every car in this place because some of them are just one step away from a used car to me so we're going to show you the the older stuff stuff i find a little more interesting show you the phone number on this one if you're interested this one needs some work there you go step over here to a model a coupe there's a little 30 31 model a coupe But he's painted the top. Paint must have been peeling up there. It's an older restoration, but don't look too bad. Good parade car. 8,500, can't, can't buy much for that. It's a 31. There's the information for you. Here's a 89 Dodge Power Ram. 4,300 on that. Get a 360 automatic. There's all your information. And here's an 84 Chevy square body here. 2500 on this one. There's the information for you there. That one's a long box. Two wheel drive, looks like. There we go. Here's a real life Tomator. This one's a 55 GMC, 350 model right there. 10.5 is the price. Call Brian, it says. This is Big Bad John, this tow truck's called. A little rust in the fenders and stuff, but a pretty good survivor for a tow truck. What'd you give for yours? Firing up that Pontiac over there. Sounds pretty gnarly. 74 GTO. Go back to this one because we got interrupted by the, the loud burning of rubber there. I don't see a price on this one, but there's a the phone number. You got a good look to it, good patina. Pretty solid car, we'll step back so you can see it. A little rust on the fenders. Not a bad car. Well, we got a 71 Chevelle here, 35 grand. Then we got a Plymouth here, it's a street rod, four door. 18,000 is the price. That is the information. It's got a 318 in it. Probably a good driver. This one is a 1938. Always thought the front ends of these were really nice. Check it out. Hollywood Knights, it says on the side of the hood. Got some faux bullet holes along the side there. This one does not have a price. GT Ranchero, Ford, there's your information. It's got a tonneau cover on it, black car, pretty nice looking. Wouldn't mind having that truck right there, nice. Dodge, 
Jaredan rollback. Well, here's a first gen Cummins Dodge here. And a jacked up foil drive. There's the old 5.9 there. Price on this one is 45,000. Wow. 67,000 miles. Just about the price of a brand new one. This here is 14.5. 69 Barracuda convertible. There's your information there. Here's an 84 Camaro here, Z28. 98,000 miles it says, garage kept. 12 grand on that one. Here's a 58 Chevy here, two door hardtop, Bel Air. Let's see if there's some information on it. Uh, here's some right here, 29,000. Pretty nice looking car. Got a little GMC pickup here. Check this out. Short box. Good looking pickup. I do not see a price on that one. Well, we got a few lined up here. We'll check them out. Plymouth convertible there, and here's a Ford 32 Ford five window. This one's 49.9 on this. Oh no, it's a Model A with a 32 grill on it. Model A chassis. Let's see what the motor is. Looks like small block Chevy in there. Pretty nice car. And we got a 53 Plymouth convertible here. <laughs> got the original six cylinder in there, all restored. Good looking car. Kind of a pale yellow with a black top. Get over on the side of it here. There's some guys on that side. Looks like all the trim is done nicely. Bumpers are all redone. Emblems, all the chrome. Good looking car. 29.5 on this. There's the guy's card right there. There's a good side view of it here. Very nice. Restoration on that. There's an SS little Chevy pickup 502 and an S10. This one's 41.5. Show you the inside here. Looks like a lot of work has gone into this one. He's under the hood. Pretty cool little pickup. There's the information there. Same, same info as the one before that. And yeah, we got a big block Chevy here. This one's a 67 Chevelle, 396 in there. Kind of a gold color. Looks like it's nicely restored. Price is 58.5. Same, same owner as the last couple. I'll show you the inside. Looks real nice inside. Good looking car. Super sport. And we got a big Cadillac sedan here. Get you the information on this one. This one's a 55 for 29,000 right there. Like the missiles coming out, huh? There's those air cleaners that you see a lot of guys looking for for hot rods. Here's the phone number of the guy here. Kind of a light gray color, I guess. Pretty nice looking caddy. Here's a Buick Riviera. Got the boat tail on it. Check it out. These are wild. 
This one's a 71. Let's see if we can get to the information on it. Twenty-three nine. There's the price. There's the price and the phone number. Looks like a really, really nice car, though. I mean, nice condition. Here is a '55 Ford Victoria. It's always been one of my favorites. Great looking car. Two door hardtop. It's got a 302 automatic. There's all the information. There's the engine. Good looking, two-tone yellow and white. Show you the inside a little bit here. Pretty good looking car. There it is. There's a little square body, short box. Looks like original paint probably. Got a good look to it. We'll step around the other side where there's a information got a chattanooga tennessee tag on it look how clean inside the bed is i don't know if that is an original paint it's got somebody did a really good job faking it good looking truck that one is twenty eight thousand five hundred There's the information right there. There's a big caddy. Fleetwood here, limo. This one's 1969. Here's all the information, all original. 12 grand marked down to. Now, if you people like these kind of videos, please subscribe. Give us positive comments. Tell us what you want to see in the future. Um, give us thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we can do more of these kinds of videos. We go all over the country. We're in the Midwest, but we get all over the place. This one's out in Ohio. And, uh, you know, all of those things help the channel, which in turn helps us make more videos for you guys to watch. This one's 15537 Dodge Coupe. There's the phone number there. Needs some needs some work, but it's good good start right there. Good looking car. There's a little Mercury Capri. This one's a 1991. I don't see too many of those on the road anymore. This one is 3,600. There's your information. Over here we got a nice clean Regal. Buick Regal, look at inside there. You got the Tasmanian Devil sitting in there. I'll give you a side shot of that. I always loved the portholes on the Buicks. They did that for a long time and probably Several decades they were doing those portholes. Kind of a calling card for a Buick. Got another square body here. This one's a long box. Catch this side of the Regal. This is a nice car, this Regal. 12.5. Super clean right there. Nice interior. It's got the 3.8. Can't kill those. That's just a, a nice car right there. That'd be a great driver. Got the old styling. Got the 3.8. Good engine, make you a good little car. Now this one's 1980, got the round headlights. This one's 10.5. It's a diesel too, right there. Behind me we got a Ford Granada. GMC pickup next to it here. We'll check out the GMC in a minute. First, I'll show you the Granada. Give you the information. This one looks really clean. There's all the stuff telling about it. 15,000. 
but it looks cherry. I mean, the interior looks like new. Good condition on that one. This is a GMC pickup here. Oh, look what we got next door here, Mercury. I'll show you that one in a minute. Well, I guess they couldn't find the long box running, or the long, not the long box, it's the short box, but the long running boards. Instead, they used big truck running boards. 18,000 on this one, right there. Painted bumper, painted headlight bezels, painted grill. This is the Mercury here, nice convertible. This one's a 51. Here's the price right there. To me, that seems like it's under the money. Always amazing how long these tops are on these. Look at that. It's got pitting in the chrome and, you know, probably an Ohio car, but not a lot of money for a Mercury. I think what they did there, though, is I think, judging from the length of that top, it sure looks like a four-door that's been cut down. I don't know. Somebody can let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think that top should be that long on that. Check what's out over here. Another square body here, 6,500 on that one. We'll jump over here. And we get a 39 Ford next to it here. Convertible or Cabriolet. This has always been my, one of my all time favorites right there. Great looking car. This one's 59.9. There's the information there. This one's got a rumble seat. Notice the steps. One, two, three, right up there and jump in the back. Got a New Hampshire plate on it, too. Now we got a 68 Chevy here. This one's a four wheel drive. 21.5 on this. It's got a 327 with a four speed. There's your information. If you can make it out, it's kind of hard to. Get some of these when they write on the window like that with the sun. Hey, Keith, it has a rumble seat in it because it has the steps on the back fender. Yeah. Here's GMC Jimmy. That guy probably startled you. He startled me. He came out right behind me talking that loud. My brother in law's got one of these in There's another Hodges hauler here on a Chevy. Crew cab, this one's for sale too. Check it out. This one's a 94. 20 grand right there. Almost walked my shins into those spikes. Look at those sticking out. And we got a few pickups over on this side. Here's another square body. We got a Dodge, a couple Dodges next to it. This one is 14.5. Catch the uh, info, then I'll show you the truck. Right there. 14.5 on that step side, square body. And here's a Dodge. This one's a 66. This one's got a 440. It's a camper special. 13.5 on this one. There's the big block 440 right there. There's another Dodge next to it, a 76 power wagon. 14,000 on this one. This one's got a small block, 360. That one's a club cab. We got a Corvette here. This one's an 87 Corvette. There's a tag on that one. 10 grand or best offer. Then we got a Chevy, one of the SS model pickups. 
These are pretty collectible. It's got the big block 454 SS model. There's the engine. Pretty clean in there. Let's see if this shows a price or something here. Yep, 22 grand right there. There's the phone number. Short box, big block. Probably a few more years that'll go up in value a lot, especially if it's a good original. Don't see those around every day. Well, this one's a fixer upper. Looks like it had some front end damage. This one's a 76 Camaro. 7500 right there is the phone number. So if somebody's looking for a project or a fixer upper, there you go. This one's a Toyota. Let's see what the information. I don't know much about these, so I'll show you the information. It's a '97 Toyota, Japanese import, Crown Royal Saloon. Right there. I was gonna say I don't think I've ever seen one of these. 6500. There's another one. This one's a Nissan, 97 Nissan. Right hand drive. And it's also a Japanese import right there. 19.5 on that. There's a 1990 Camaro, or 92 Camaro, I guess. 40,000 miles. Price is 16000 Pretty clean car. The RS model. That does look really clean, nice interior. Makes you wonder in another 10 years where those will be at price-wise. Here's a GMC square body with a utility body on it. Kind of interesting. Looks like it's all been painted up pretty nice. 18 grand. One owner. Nice original seat in there and stuff. That thing is really clean. Oh, get a Pontiac convertible here. And it looks like a red Nova next to it. Show you these two. This one's a Le Mans. 1965. 17.5 is the price. Good looking car. Needs a little TLC here and there. I always like the Pontiac front ends on. There it is under the hood. And here is the 70 Nova SS here. Fourteen grand, fourteen grand cash, or I keep her. It says. Bunch of new car. It's got boxes and boxes and boxes. Of boxes. Forty-six Ford two-door here. Another rat rod or project car, sixty-five hundred. Can show you the information on there. Looks like it's got a tilt nose on it. And a rat fink on the hood there. Wanna hear it, Ron? Where was Kelly's? Yeah, uh, purple and gold. Oh, Kelly's. okay. So the sun did, one sun hat runs it now. Got a little, oh, okay. little uh, Cadillac next and to it here. Kind of noted for their... This guy gonna start this up or no? Uh, they were kind of noted for their real speed. I had one of these. Oh, okay. Pontiac ain't starting so hot over there. Here goes the rat rod. They're going to get this one running and drive it away. Sounds 
pretty good. Oh, installed it. Gotta get it warmed up there. Full blooded. Show you this Cadillac while we're at it. This one's seven grand, it's an 87 Cadillac. There goes that Firebird, they're driving that one out. He's kind of fighting the brakes with the gas there on that one. There it goes. Okay, you gotta let this warm up a little bit. There's a Monte Carlo here. A light blue. Top's getting a little weathered, but looks mostly original. This one, look under the hood, I guess is what they're trying to say. 7,500. Monte Carlo there. Guy is having a problem with that Ford keeping it going there. Now he's got a guy talking in the window that probably ain't making him too happy. Difficult to keep it running there. There's another Nova. This one's got a metallic paint job on it. 71 SS right there. 182. Oh, he finally got this one going. Here we go. There he goes. Got it warmed up. Good looking Trans Am here, black and gold. There you go, 9500. Right there. And we got a 36 Chevy. Looks like a barn find here. This one's eight grand. Called James. Is your number? Kind of a barn find looking Chevy. Show you this side of it. And we got a second gen Dodge here. Looks real clean. It's a single cab, long box, foil drive, 360 gas engine, 25 grand. It's really amazing how the price of the used pickups have gone up just in, you know, since COVID. They've really uh, gone way high. Then the price of the new ones are coming down now so it makes you wonder how they're selling some of these 20 30 year old pickups when you can buy a brand new one for not a lot more sometimes you know and you get a full warranty and everything on them and we've got a couple on trailers here is a Mopar and what's the pickup Chevy pickup looks like a 35 Chevy 34 or 5, it's got the high top cab. 33, I guess, is what they're saying. But this is the high top cab, and 36, they go to a low top. Show you that one, 3,500 bucks for best offer. Show you guys what the issue is with some of these early Chevys. Right here. Notice the post is wood with the door bolts on, all wood. Also at the back here, this is all wood right here. They just tack, bring the sheet metal over and tack it to it. So that cab is full of wood. So once the wood goes out, even the doors and stuff, they all just fall apart. So it makes it a little difficult to work on. You'd have to frame them in steel or make a whole wood kit. And we'll see the tag on this one. We're just about to the end of the car corral, so we'll probably end it on this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. You know, keep an eye on what else we're doing. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Been on the week on the road for two weeks here, doing some swap meets and car corrals, car shows, auction. So check them all out.
Hope you enjoy them. And please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us some comments as to what you'd like to see in the future. This one's 20 grand. 67 Belvedere. There's your phone number. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next round.